with a custom background. I probably should have had music turned on for this. That's okay, I can add it in post. I see the player you mean. Joseph Lithius? Yes, take care. It has reached a higher level now. It can read our thoughts. That doesn't matter. It thinks we're part of the game. I like this player. It played well. It did not give up. It is reading our thoughts as though they were words on a screen. This is how it chooses to imagine many things, when it is deep in the dream of a game. Words make a wonderful interface, very flexible, and less terrifying than staring at a reality beyond the screen. They used to hear voices before players could read, back in the days when those who did not play called the players witches and warlocks, and players dreamed they flew through the air on sticks powered by demons. What did this player dream? This player dreamed of sunlight and trees, of fire and water. It dreamed it created. And it dreamed it destroyed. It dreamed it hunted and was hunted. It dreamed of shelter. Ha! The original interface, a million years old, and it still works. But what true structure did this player create in the reality behind the screen? It worked with a million others to sculpt a true world. In fact, it's going too fast now, I couldn't read that. It cannot read that thought. No, it has not yet achieved the highest level. That, it must achieve in a long dream of life, not the short dream of the game. Does it know that we love it? That the universe is kind? Sometimes, through the noise of its thoughts, it hears the universe, yes. But there are times it is sad in the long dream. Boy, ain't that the truth. It creates worlds that has no summer, and it shivers under a black sun, and it takes its sad creation for reality. To cure it of its sorrow, we would destroy it. The sorrow is part of its private task, and we cannot interfere. Sometimes when they are deep in dreams, I want to tell them that they are building true worlds in reality. Sometimes I want to tell them the importance of the universe. Sometimes they want to magnet... It reads our thoughts. Sometimes I do not care. Sometimes I wish to tell them the world you take for truth is merely and I wish to tell them that they are in the but they see little of reality of their own dream. And yet they play the game, but it would be so easy to tell them. Too strong for this dream. To tell them to live is to prevent them living. I will not tell this player how to live. The player is growing restless. I will tell the player the story, but not the truth. No, a story that contains the truth safely in a cage of words, not the naked truth that can burn over any distance. Give it a body again. Yes, player. Use its name. Joseph Lithius, player of games. Good. Take a breath now. Take another. Feel the air in your lungs. Let your limbs return. Yes, move your fingers. Have a body again, under gravity, in air. Respawn in the long dream. There you are, your, touch, your body touching the universe again at every point, as though you were separate things. As though we were separate things. Who are we? Once we were called the Spirit of the Mountain, Father Sun, and Mother Moon, Ancestral Spirits, Animal Spirits, Jinn, Ghosts, The Green Man, The Gods, Angels, Poltergeist, A -S -S Extraterrestrials, Lipdown, Squarks, ah! We are the universe. We are everything you think isn't you. You are looking at us now, through your skin, through your eyes. Why does the universe touch your skin? I'm going to tell you a story! Once upon a time, there was a player. The player was you, Joseph Lithius. Sometime, God, wow, I've never actually sat down and watched this whole thing. This is taking a toll on my, uh, this is taking a toll.
on my mental state. I think I may just end up fast forwarding this in the uh, in the actual video. Of course, you won't hear that unless I talk. Really slowly. Then you will know that I have slowed down. I can just say in post post production I sped it up <sighs> If I knew this thing was gonna be this long I would have made some popcorn. Seriously, seriously? I have a Coke bottle. No offense, universe, but you're boring me! Ugh. I am the knight? Am I the Batman? I'm sure this is all deep and philosophical and and stuff, but <laughs> excuse me. That's a coke burp. That is. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. Oh, for crap! There's a credits now! Ah! You're killing me, Minecraft. You're killing me, Marcus Pearson. Per person. Per person? Persisson? And Yangs Bergsten, and Nathan Adams, and Ryan Holtz, and Michael Stoik? Eric Bros. Yo, Bros before Hoezes. Daniel Rosenfield did the music and sound. Artwork and Paintings by Christopher Zenderstrand. 
He did some good stuff. I had to change these credits in my resource pack. I mean, not alter them, but like in-game artwork and paintings. Add some additional credits. Because I completely changed, like, a lot. Well, all the paintings, actually. I have to show you guys my texture pack sometime. You might be interested. This is such a long credits thing! Last time I had such a long credits roll was playing Metal Gear. That was at least interesting. This is just, you know... Well... Okay, Metal Gear is actually talking too, but... This voice, and uh... I'm sure if I heard voice while playing this, I'd be a little freaked out. To be quite honest. Developers of Mo Creatures. That would be for horses and rabbits, I believe. LWJ GL by many talented people. 3D sound system. My ass! There ain't no vertical on this 3D sound system, baby. Good night. Can I go home now? Twenty years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. So throw off the bow lines, sail away from the safe harbor, catch the trade winds on your sails, explore, dream, discover. Solid Snake. Snake Eater! That was the wrong key altogether. Snake Eater! Oh. There we go! Now let's get naked and wave to the camera. Oh yeah, I gotta put that somewhere. Bye bye! Bye 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 bye. And yes, I'm a girl. I'm a pretty pretty girl. Your mileage may vary. Toodles.